For today's little adventure, we're gonna be making sugar strawberries. We're just gonna use a pound of strawberries and some sugar. The thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna make sugar strawberries. So we cut off tops of the strawberries and I'm going to dice them. And so I'm doing this one handed just to show you how to show you guys what I mean by dicing. You can slice them, dice them, however you wanna do. I like to make them smaller, it gives you more strawberries that way. Sorry, I'm doing this one handed because my phone holder has disappeared for when I do my videos. So I'm just doing it all one hand for you today, guys. Yay. Anyway, so we're gonna dice up our strawberries and I'm not gonna dice all these up. And then I'm gonna pour them into my container here. So I'm gonna fill this up with, I like to do two containers of strawberries. I like to make sugar strawberries to put over ice cream, to put over um, angel food cake, to put over really any kind of any kind of dessert, brownies, cheesecake, sugar strawberries are great for everything. I up our strawberries. I actually did two pounds of strawberries instead of just one pound because I'm going to use this for something else besides just um, making sugar strawberries. So kind of mix them up a little bit. All right, I start with a fourth cup of sugar. So what you want to do is you want to get the sugar covering all of the strawberries. So the less sugar you have, the less juice you'll have. Now get juice no matter what. So normally I'm being, <laughs> normally I just eyeball it in there, but I figured you guys might want measurements to kind of have at home. So I'm kind of trying to be more, <clears throat> use more measurements, but in reality, I just like to kind of just dump a little here, dump a little there. I would say minimum fourth cup per pound of strawberries. I might even do a three fourths cup per pound of strawberries, well, half a cup per pound of strawberries, but okay. So you see we're all coated. So we've done half a cup for two pounds of strawberries and we're pretty coated here. So that should be all right. Like I said, I don't measure normally. I just kind of dump it in and say, hmm, it looks good. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this sit. I put it in the refrigerator and let it sit. And while it sits, it will get, it'll have juice that will form because the sugar, I don't know the scientific things that make it happen, but there's a chemical reaction, biochemical rea chemical reaction, something like that that makes the juice and the strawberries kind of be pulled out with the sugar and so it'll make a sugary syrup and i want to say i don't know how many hours that takes i want to be like it's really quick but i say normally i let it sit for a little bit before i do anything so this isn't the sugar strawberries yet this is just the strawberries with sugar on them so the juice will come after they sit for a while so even now you can see it's already got a little bit of juice so it'll get juicier, it'll be runnier. So I guess it really depends on, the sugar depends on how much how much runny, I guess really the amount of sugar depends on how much runny you want it to be. Anyway, so we're gonna let that sit and then I'll come back to it after it's ready. an hour and as you can see, there is liquid here, which is great. Cause that what you want is you want that liquid to appear. So you've got the sugary syrup liquid. And now if you want, you can just add it to ice cream or any other dessert you want to add it to. The longer it sits, the juicier will get a little bit more. I'll get a little bit more juice here. There's only half an hour. If you do about an hour and a half, it'll be juicier. Anyway, thank you for joining us for today's little adventure. And please join us for next today's little adventure.